B437. Madam Speaker, with regard to part A of the question, I'm informed by the Financial Services Commission that the court has appointed Mr. Zhou Cheng Ming Kan as a liquidator of the related companies of BAI company, company Mauritius Limited. I'm tabling a list of, uh, of these companies and the date of appointment as liquidator. I'm further, further informed that the appointment has been made under the Insolvency Act 2009 and the terms and conditions of this appointment are governed by the provisions of the said legislation. In fact, the main duties of the liquidator are to collect receivables and distribute the available funds in accordance with Section 328 of the, Insol of the Insolvency Act 2009. I'm informed that the fixed fees payable to the liquidator as per court order for all the companies except the Bremer Banking Corporation Limited are uh, 17,002,500 uh, rupees. As regards the Bremer Banking Corporation Limited, I'm advised that no fixed fee has been ordered by the court, and consequently, the fee payable will be between 5% and 15% of the gross recovery proceeds as per Section 111 of the Insolvency Act, depending upon the complexity of the case. I am also informed that both the liquidator and the special administrator are partners of BDU and Cook. Madam Speaker, with regard to part B of the question, I am informed by the FSC that the value of the total assets, book receivables, excluding those assets already transferred to NPFL and NIC, amount to 515 million 014,866 rupees, of which 49,716,303 rupees have been realized as a date. The total liability in respect of the rated companies of VI Company Mauritius Limited stand at 13,649,708,787 rupees. I know from the Honourable Minister whether any tender exercise has been carried out to recruit a liquidator being given the indecent amount of money that is being paid to them, 17 million and 5 to 15 percent of the asset of uh, Brahma Bank. Uh, I mentioned in my reply that uh, the liquidator was appointed by the court and their terms and conditions were decided in accordance with the Insolvency Act. So uh, I don't know who could have intervened in the process, but I agree with the Honorable Member and I've asked the FSC to take up the matter with BDU. The court appoints, the court makes an appointment based on application. The application was made by the special administrator, who is the partner of Mr. George Tung. Both are from BDO. Does the Honourable Minister find it an obvious case of conflict of interest, and shouldn't the FSC take immediate action against the special administrator? Uh, I, I don't know if uh, there has been uh, a conflict of interest, but uh, it was a duty the responsibility of the special administrator to pass to the next stage of liquidation after having uh, realized assets. So uh, I, will, uh, I will take up the matter with, with the FSC. Uh, you had a question? Madam Speaker, will the minister state whether in the process of hiring off some of the companies which are lucrative the value of the assets have been deliberately depressed to allocate those resources to people who uh, this government have handpicked? Uh, I have no answer to this, Madam Speaker. Honorable Tim, Is the Honorable Minister aware that under Section 109 of the Insolvency Act, 
a person is disqualified from becoming a liquidator if he or his partner has been auditor of a company or related company in the pre preceding years and BDO was the auditor of Brahma Property Fund Limited. Does he find it normal that BDO should appoint his own partner as a liquidator? Madam Speaker, this is an old story. Uh, the, the, the appointment was made at a time when... Uh, no, but they audited. And when, when was BDU appointed as special administrator? Is it in 2018? 